YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Chris, aka Mr. 54540 TV in the building. Gang, gang. Look, man, it's your boy 540 TV, and I'm back in the bathroom. Y'all know this is my spot where I do all my wave videos. Look, man, I haven't made a wave video in a minute, so I decided, you know what I'm saying, to go ahead and just throw something out. Uh, not just something, but something that uh, most people are gonna be really shocked about when you first see it, but I'll show you why I did it. Um, and you know, it's always a good reason why we do things and it might seem crazy to other people or whatever. But you know, we got this COVID-19 pandemic going on and just blessings out to everybody because I know this is a tough time. Um, people aren't working, they aren't making money, the kids are home getting on their nerves. Um, the kids aren't really, you know, um, in school, so they have to do their at home um, schooling type thing. And not everybody is cut out to be a teacher. Not everybody is cut out to go through this English, this math, science. And I love math. Math is my thing, but, you know, English, oh, blah. Da, da, da. Whatever the music is, I play it right now. All right. But, um, yeah. Um, it's a tough time, man. Um, thank God that they sent out, they sent out a stimulus check to everybody to kind of help everybody kind of stay afloat a little bit. Um, that's not a lot because a lot of people haven't worked in months. Some people make more than twelve hundred dollars in a month, so it is, you know, just this crazy crap is going on. So hopefully we all, you know, just kind of, you know, stay together, stay prayed up. Uh, we know that God is the God of everything, and He has full control over everything. So again, look, prayers out to everybody. Prayers out to the 540 gang. Um, you know what I'm saying? Let's keep supporting each other. Um, just keep being nice to people, man. Stop being so mean all the time. Not, not saying y'all, 540 gang, we don't do that. But to everybody else, to the new subscribers, subscribe to the channel first. But look, people gotta stop being so mean, man. Like, you know, look, let's look out for each other. We all we got, you know what I mean? But look. That's enough about me talking, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to the meat of the video. So, it's quarantine, and we cannot get to barbers. So, sometimes we take it upon ourselves to try to do the barber job, which I've been cutting my hair for a while, and it's just this time, you know, it wasn't, uh, it was, it wasn't bad. It was a great haircut, in which I'm gonna show the picture now. Like, the haircut isn't bad, it's just, you know, I used the wrong guard, y'all. I used the wrong guard. All right, I messed up my ways. I messed up my ways. The depth isn't there anymore. The connection um, is barely there. Um, just hoping that I bounce back. So enough of me talking. Let's check out my ways. All right, all right, here we go. I cut a little too low. I did about a week ago, and I should have been making this video, but I'm just now, you know, getting to the move. But I did it a week ago. My hair has grown back a little bit. This piece of hair standing up. My hair has grown back a little bit. Um, I do still have some waves. Um, it's definitely not what it was. Y'all know my pictures I posted. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at bigtime keys B I G. No, 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 no. 540 TV. I just forgot my dog. This is my old Instagram name. 540 TV. Follow me on Instagram at 540 TV. Um, you can check out my waves, what they did look like before. Um, I still have some waves that's still there. Um, but y'all know how my top was. My top was crazy. I mean, I still got some that's there, um, but it's definitely not what it was. But, so let's talk about when you cut your hair low or why 
you should cut your hair low. A lot of people cut their hair low to work on connections. A lot of people um cut their hair low to really find the uh, flow of their waves. Um, you know, the only issue with cutting your hair low is, you know, just like anything else, you know, you go to the barber and say, look, I want a two and a half or a three. If they cut anything below a two and a half or three, you're cutting progress. So I cut my progress. I, I did. Um, it wasn't intentional, um, but after I thought about it, I was like, you know what? Um, throughout this quarantine thing we got going on, you know, I'm gonna just put in some extra brush time, in which I am. I'm brushing more, so um, just put in some extra brush time and or whatnot. But man, listen, cutting your hair low isn't a bad thing. Um, just so happy that this accident happened because I put the wrong freaking guard, the wrong guard on the clippers, and I know better. I knew better, but it is what it is. So you know, at least just give me time to really work on my connections and, and you know work on stuff that definitely need approving so it definitely my back at one point in time my back was perfect um this whole slant was just everything was in line but what happened was i did a little shift um, of my crown and that brushing um pattern i was doing really just messed my whole flow up in the back. And what it does, you know, when you try to change, when you change stuff to, for the better, um, it will mess your flow up. Um, but, you know, just keep at it. Because even with me brushing this way, if you was to brush something a totally different, you know, if it works for you and your connections are working, it's working, you know, hey, keep going what you're doing. Um, one thing I was known for when people see my waves are uh, the depth of my waves. And I'm sure if I cut my hair off, my waist is gonna be in there. But um, as you see, they don't look as um, it don't look the way they looked before. Again, hopefully at this time, um, I'm working on correct angles, which I can see my waist better. So correct angles um, and my connection. Because you know, I, I don't just wave. I do wave for good looks clean and people like waves, but honestly, you know, in, in the wave community, you wave so you can battle, so you can campaign and do all this other stuff. No need to campaign. If your waves are trash. And then your information isn't there. You know, I'm a student also. You know, I got people that I check out, posts that I really read and save, um, that I might bring to you all, you know? And I definitely give them proper credit for um, their post because you know I didn't come up with it. So if someone else came up with it, give that person proper credit for what they created. I'm gonna leave that at that. Um, but as I said, you know I'm, I'm brushing my hair now, um, trying to get my waves back to where they need to be. And yes, this is this brush has been through it. This is one of my favorite brush in the world. Like this is my baby right here. I'm not gonna buy another one. I'm just gonna keep using this one because this is what got me the ways that y'all seen before. This brush here. But yeah, so that's one thing, like I said, I'm able to see my, my brushing angles and um, just give me an opportunity, like I said, to correct all my mistakes. That's one. That's one good thing about waves. I mean, one thing about good thing about hair is that it's just hair. Like literally, it's just hair. You cut it off, it's gonna grow back. I mean, unless you got something, you know, hereditary and you was had a receding. Hairline, man. You know, it's gonna grow back. You know, it's just hair. But at least cutting your hair off is like a reset button. Give you opportunity to fix all that you've messed up. So I'm gonna do a little brush session a little bit so y'all kind of see me. I'm gonna go through this brush um, and a softy.
the dude, um, Wiz. I can't remember his um, actual YouTube, but he got a thing called, that he created called the No Not Method. And um, it's definitely dope. And so I'm gonna do a little small tutorial. Actually, go to my video on YouTube. I'm gonna go through my videos. I did a No Not Method, um, um, you know, what you call them, a video. And you know, it got a lot of hits, you know. It's a great method. It does it doesn't leave like the little lines in your forehead. And you know, your durat isn't so tight that you're getting a headache. educational for those who got ways but want to get ways on um, your hair isn't all the way cut off but you got some ways so we're going through this little process together i made a mistake cut my hair off don't make a mistake that i made make sure you always when you cut your hair always start with a bigger guard and then if that's not enough hair off then you go a size down don't start with the low not low low but the low guard it's like i did look learn from my mistakes it's your boy Chris, it came Mr. 540 TV, 540 TV in the building. Game. Game. Peace.